Today I got a package in the mail from Amazon. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is. I ordered a two kit lantern set, LED lantern set. They're probably about, say, this big. Let's open up and see what these guys look like. This new Amazon mailer, it's kind of like a bubble mailer, but it's actually rather in bubbles. It's got cotton in the middle of it. They are a pain and they're pretty messy. Here we go. We got a 2X COB. It's a multifunctional, they call it working lamp. It takes rechargeable batteries. It takes standard double A's. It also works as a uh, charging station. It's pretty cool. Let's unbox this guy. So, comes with the batteries. Another kit of them. USB cord. And the lamp. So it has two large LEDs. And on the back side, it's got its power button down here. And then waterproof. So let's get this guy open is where you charge your USB port. Pop this guy, double A's, and your rechargeables, just like that. So we're gonna stick the rechargeables in it. And it's already got power, look at that. Blind you guys. What I've seen about this, let's put this guy out of the way. What I've seen about this is it's got this handle on it. Nifty handle. Either your teammate or your duo, like we have, can sit here and hold the lamp while I'm going over the place. So it'd be like the lights up here focused on the stuff. But the problem is holding it. Your arms are going to get tired. So rather than holding it, what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes in the handle and I'm going to mount magnets to them. Where did I get these magnets? Dumpster diving, of course. Certain stores use these to snap onto the metal shelves and then they'll hold like paper flyers. Some of them will hold lightweight objects. This one here, it's got a single magnet on the bottom of it. This one was hold for holding a paper display for a Tees less volume powder shake. So for this task, we're going to need drill, drill bit. I didn't show you guys me picking my drill bits out, but I picked a bit. I picked a bit that matched the size of the head of the rivet that's inside here. Then I want to lay this guy flat. Drill the rivet head off. Got this out. We'll do the same thing to this one. Now we've got the two magnets that were part of this display piece that we're repurposing. Again, another thing that I'm going to repurpose, this guy was a good find. Even had its charger, had its docking station, it was all there. Had to replace the filter inside, but other than that, it works great. Set the magnets on the light, like so. Then I'm going to use the same drill bit, drill straight through the magnet and into the handle.
there's hole one. It's nice and centered. See this line here? Just center your hole onto that line. Even spacing from the side. We'll put that one there. And this one will go right here. So when lining it up, I took the magnet. I can see through the hole of the magnet. I can see this line right here, which is the form line for when they did the, the forming of this handle. Take your time. Don't go really fast. Don't add a lot of pressure. Let the weight of the drill do all the work. Now that we have that, we have the two holes right here. Then what we're going to do is our magnets are going to go right here. There's a few options you can do to put these on here. What we're going to do is we're going to run to the hardware store. We're going to pick up some bolts that are long enough to go through here with washers with nuts. Pie only be a couple bucks. If you have one of those bins out in your garage full of nuts and bolts, hit that up. Or you could even use pop rivets. Pop rivets are a little bit more expensive. It's harder to find a narrow rivet that's as long as needed for this. Okay, ran to the hardware store, picked up three bulk fasteners, three bulk fasteners. The bolts were 15 cents. The nuts were 14 cents each. So a total of 94 cents with tax just to get the nuts and bolts. So let's see what we got here. So we're going to take a little baggie of nuts and bolts. I sized them. I took one of the magnets with me to the, well actually took the magnet, the lamp, to the hardware store so that I could size the heads to fit into this hole and the size, the length of the bolt to go through this guy here. And then I can put the nut on. Looks like that. I'm just gonna finger tighten it for the video. And, oh, in my pocket is the other one. This is the one I took to the hardware store with me. Stick this guy in. Same size as the hole. If you need to work it in, you can. Or if it's really tight, like this one. So now we have magnets on the handle, magnets set flush. Now when we're out, we can have our lamp turned on. We'll have it down like that. And then say, this is the side wall of the dumpster. We're just gonna pop it on. Then we can angle it to our liking and we can dive. And we got some light and we're hands free. So that's it for this one. Pretty much a rinse and repeat. If you had more of these magnets, we'll drill the holes through, grab the other lamp, give it a shot. The next one over, I might want to shift the magnets over a hair so that the nut falls in this area here. I still don't think it's going to close right, but it's worth a shot. So here we go. This is with standard flashlight.
We got some displays. No soups that I can see. And then let's test our new lamp. Much more evenly lit. Might be able to put the camera over here. Level with the lamp. Pretty much see everything hands free. There's really no need to dive in here right now. All we're really doing is just testing the lamp with the new lamp on low with an old flashlight. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Down below will be links to the lamp, to some magnets if you don't have any.